So, ladies and gentlemen, how you guys doing? This is your boy Chris coming back with another reptile video to help you guys raise your reptile in the best condition. So today, in this video, I'm going to be going over the fireball morph that a lot of people were interested in, and also I love this morph. This is one of the special line morph that I really, really like. Through the colors and patterns, I just fall in love with this uh, lines. But anyway, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the fireball morph example photos and give you guys a little bit of brief history and characteristic and generic traits about the Firebolt lines. So Firebolt was actually found by one of the Italian breeder whose name is Carlos Maia from Monsoon Reptiles. In 2013, he gave it to Gecko Boa and Gecko Boa has been working this line until now and he's been able to create a lot of good Firebolt lines. I also have a Gecko Boa's lines as well working with them last year but it didn't turn out great because the female was not ready to breed. Hopefully this time my female do really well with the male Firebolt and I'll be able to create really really good hats for next year. So if you guys are interested, make sure you stay tuned and follow my Instagram page called The Gecko Pia. So those are the history part about the Firebolt and the second part about the genetic trait is that Firebolt is a polygenetics. For those who might not understand what polygenetic is, polygenetic is basically like a line breeding where you put the best quality leopard geckos together over 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 again for many years and you just get the best one and then breed the best one again together and that is basically called a polygenetics in other words they call it line breeding so the firebolt is a polygenetic when the breeder was doing this project for firebolt he actually used an electric bandit and then he mixed with the african tangerine rest dry hypersantic and various tangerine lines together to create this firebolt lines it is one of the special lines and i think this is very new morph too it's not really like super recent it's been quite a long time but compared to other lines where like Mexno or Tramper's it is definitely a lot newer than those morph so next up the, for the characteristic part there's two characteristics that I can think of when it comes to Firebolt Firebolt tends to have a really good patterns like the bolt marking on their back to their heads and tails it varies depending on the Firebolt you have but the more pattern it has on their body it will consider as a better quality for the firebolt. Some people like to have those type of patterns or some people just like to have very little solid bolt lines but in a way I, when I look into the market and do some research on it it seems like the more solid patterns it has on its body tends to raise up the price higher. So if that's something that you were looking for make sure you do a lot of research on those because it's not easy to find those type of qualities. So those are one of the key characteristics that I tend to find when it comes to the firebolt and the second part is the yellow color background. As you can see on my uh, example photos right there, there's a really, really bright yellow color with the black solid lines. And usually Fireball, when I look into the markets, most of them, I actually never seen anything like an orange color. So I think Fireball is just a yellow color on its back, but I'm hoping someone could create the orange color with the black solid lines as well. I think that will look really, really cool. Don't you guys think? So that is one of the characteristics that I could find and if you have any other key factors that signifies the fireball morph let me know down in the comment. So those are some of the good example photos on the online for the fireball and for my last slide I decided to bring a couple of different bold line projects that other breeders are working on. So if you don't like the fireball patterns then you can definitely go with these options. There's like extreme bold, bold bandit or halloween mask or other bold lines. I couldn't find other lines that have a really good example photo so I decided to put just three of these on this slide but when it comes to bold there's a variety of options and each lines has their unique patterns and color so if you want to learn more about bold lines definitely let me know down in the comment and i'll try to come up with a really good video to help you understand what other bold looks like and what the difference between those lines and lastly i personally like fire bold is because when you compare to like tangerine lines or black knights at the end they look very same from each other when you have a really good ones like solid 
colors, no patterns, high orange, blood orange colors, or black colors. Those are the things for tangerine lines and black knights. But for fireball, you can actually create a lot of different patterns itself. Like although their hatchings are from same parents, their patterns are going to be a lot different from each other when you have a really good one paired together. But their pattern is just unpredictable and it's really cool to see how it turns out from each hatchlings and they're just gonna be look different from each other. So that's why I like Firebolt and it reminds me of a tiger for some reason. I guess it's the color and the pattern itself just makes me think of a tiger. Yeah, but overall I like the colors and patterns and that's why I'm working with the Firebolt. And here is my project for my Firebolt. I'll give you some of the example um, for my lines. You can definitely see it has a really good pattern on its tail and on the back. It used to be black when he was young, but for some reason as he gets older, these colors and patterns are starting to fade away. And as you can see, it has a really cool pattern on its face. Just reminds me of a tiger for some reason. Do you guys also think that too? So that is my male for this year projects. And here's a female one for the firebolt. As you can see, it has a really good pattern on its head and it has a little bit of pattern on its back, but not as good as the example photos that I have shown you. And they're really good ones too from the gecko ball. So I highly recommend doing a firebolt projects too if you are interested. I'll have some hat slings available for next year. So if you like the tiger looking leopard geckos, stay tuned and follow my Instagram page to get updated. So hopefully you've got value out of this video. And if you like the video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, write a comment down below. I read every single of your comment and I love to help you guys. So if you have any questions for me, write a comment down below. And if it seems a really good questions um, to share with all of the people who are subscribe to our channel i'll definitely create another video like this and give you guys what i personally think about that more and give you a little bit of history and all those sort of informations thank you so much for watching my video until now and i'll see you guys in the next video Get